everybody in Drum Magazine land. This is Charlie Waymeyer at Ultimate Studios, Inc. Today I'm working with a fantastic drummer and producer and a good friend of mine, Mike Abname, on an EP for a new artist that he's producing. Mike, you have a specific sound in mind. What are we going for? Right, so when I talked to the artists, they wanted that old 60s kind of thing, so I'm using my 1965 Ludwig kit. I'm also using a new super light Ludwig snare. This is a 15 by 5, so it's actually really huge. Um, I wanted to get some really washy cymbals. I wanted everything to blend really nice, so we're using a big assortment of Pisces traditionals and different things like that. Um, also using coded emperors, just like standard emperor on top, ambassador on the bottom. And it's all really in the tuning to be able to get it to sound how you're about to hear. And to get that gritty kind of full fat tone that Mike was looking for, I have an assortment of ribbon mics for overheads, starting with a pair of Audio-Technica AT4080 ribbon mics. These mics get a really full, fat sound. You get nice toms there, and they're really smooth on the top end. The ribbons are rolled off a little bit, which makes the cymbals a bit more natural. A little compression, you can make them kind of crunchy. The third overhead is a Cascade Fathead 2, pointed directly at the snare drum. This gives the snare some body and a little bit of depth. And when you use these three together, you have most of your kit sound right there in those three microphones. On the snare and toms, I have my trusty Heil PR30s. These have a nice focused mid-range and a focused low mid that makes them just perfect for snare drums and toms. Inside the kick I have a Heil PR40 which just produces a nice thick sound and on the outside I'm using an Audio-Technica AT4047 which one of my absolute favorite mics has a great low end and it's perfect for the outside of a kick drum. To give Mike a few options during the mixing process I have a few extra mics set up here. The first one's an Audio-Technica AT4047 hanging directly above the beater on the bass drum, angled towards the snare drum. It's actually a really cool overall mono picture of the kit. I have another AT4047 out in front of the kit about a foot and a half. This picks up a really cool, big thunderous low end, but also gets a little bit extra cymbal and snare drum. Everything is going through the Trident 88 console, and I'm using the fantastic EQ in a few spots to help sweeten things up. As well as a Cascade X15 for room mics getting crushed through an overstay or VCA compressor. So, Mike, what do you say we uh, give the good people in internet land and drum land an idea what this sounds Let's like? Let's do it. Let's rock. <laughs> 